हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज मिस्टर स्वप्निल बापू साहब हेरवाड़े लेक्चर इन शरीन स्टॉप टेक्नोलॉजी पॉलिटेक्निक कैडरा विशेल पर इंजीनियर मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग डिपार्टमेंट सो आई एम हियर विद द लेक्चर ऑन चा चैप्टर नंबर थर्ड दैट इज कास्ट एन एंड इन दैट इन द लास्ट लेक्चर वी हैड स्टडीड समथिंग अबाउट द डिजिग्नेशन ऑफ स्टील एंड इन दिस वे वन टू स्टडी द नेक्स्ट पॉइंट दैट इज डेजिग्नेशन ऑफ कास्ट आयन एज पर इंडियन स्टैंडर्ड्स इन दैट वी आर गोइंग टू डेजिग्नेट द फोर टाइप्स ऑफ कास्ट आयन दैट इज ग्रे कास्ट आयन वेट कास्ट आयन मलेबल कास्ट आयन एंड डक्टाइल कास्ट आयन ओके एंड द लास्ट पॉइंट विल बी द ए आई एस आई दैट इज अमेरिकन आई एंड एंड स्टील इंस्टीट्यूट एंड ए सी दैट इज सोसाइटी ऑफ ऑटोमोटिव इंजीनियर्स डिजिग्नेशन ऑफ स्टील ओके सो first we will revise from the last lecture because it is important to know what we had studied in the last lecture so that we can connect the last lecture with this lecture okay so as we have studied in the last lecture we are going through some examples like we have taken first one that is 40 c 10 okay if you find this type of combination in which there are two numbers and only a letter or alphabet that is c is present in between then that steel is called as a plain carbon steel okay and as you remember the first number is always a percentage of carbon and how much it is it is the 100 times than actual percentage of carbon so see here what i have written 40 c 10 it is a plain carbon steel because this combination show it is a plain carbon steel because there is only c in between so it is called as a plain carbon steel okay and first number is a 40 we can get actual percentage of carbon by dividing 40 by 100 we get 0.4% carbon and the second number followed by c that is 10 it is percentage of manganese present in a plain carbon steel and it is 10 times than the actual one so we can divide 10 by 10 we get 1% of manganese okay so any example or any combination where you find only capital c in between the two numbers that steel will be a plain carbon steel okay remember this one second we have 25 c15 s12 c here in first case just we have a single alphabet and two numbers here we have two alphabets that is c for carbon s for sulfur and we have three numbers okay if you find this type of such combination then that will be the free cutting steel okay see here also the first number is always a uh, percentage of carbon that is that number is a full number which is 100 times than the actual one which is 100 times the actual one okay so we can divide 25 by 100 we get 0.25% carbon okay then the number which is followed by c following c that is 15 15 is a percentage of the or it is a number which is indicating the manganese content and it is 10 times than actual one so we divide 15 by 10 we get 1.5% manganese and capital s it is for sulfur and the number 12 it is indicating the sulfur content and as you know sulfur or the lead are the troublesome elements in a steel so we divide that 12 with the 100 number so it is actually it is 100 times than that of actual one okay so we divide 12 by 100 we get 0.12% sulfur okay next we have 30 cr8 mo3 in this combination we doesn't have any capital c capital s like this okay so this is something different from plain carbon steel or free cutting steel it is low alloy steel okay 30 cr8 mo3 for this we have a table with a three four divisible factors okay just like 4 10 and 100 so the 30 number as it is it is a first number which indicate the carbon percentage so it is 30 by 100 we get 0.30% carbon and for chromium it is in a first row so it is divided by 4 that is 8 divided by 4 we get 2% carbon chromium sorry and mo that is molybdenum it is in a second row and its divisible factor is 10 so 3 by 10 we get 0.3% molybdenum okay so this is low alloy steel fourth we have xt 75 w18 cr4 v1 as it is start with the xt uh, alphabet this is always a high speed steel okay if anything any combination start with the xt it is always a high speed steel 
uh, as again first number is always a carbon percentage so 75 divided by 100 we get 0.75 percent carbon next in this type of case where you start with the xt the elements like w that is tungsten cr that is chromium v that is vanadium it is followed by some numbers that is 18 4 and 1 these will be taken as it is this will be taken as it is there is no divisible factor for high speed steel and high alloy steel okay so same we are taken here 18 percent what w that is tungsten 4 percent chromium 1 percent v that is vanadium okay so when anything start with the xt it is always a high speed steel next high alloy steel it is again same when anything start with the x that is x50 cro 15 ni 8 so when it is start with the x it is high alloy steel always and the first number is 50 so it is 50 divided by 100 it is 0.5 percent of carbon okay and here also same we are that some elements that is chromium cr and nickel ni it is followed by some some number that is 15 and 8 these are taken as it is so in this case high alloy steel we are having 0.5 percent carbon 15 percent of chromium 8 percent of nickel so this is what we had studied in the last lecture so we will start with the next one so this is is designation of cast iron is means indian standards we have four types of standards in the world that is is indian standard bs british standards aisi that is american iron and steel institute standards and sae standards that is society of automotive engineers standards and we are following the indian standards okay for our country then is designations for cast iron like first of all we have grey cast iron and white cast iron as in steel according to indian standard specification the steel is designated by alphabet f e okay here in cast iron according to is specification the grey cast iron and white cast iron only two are designated by the alphabet f g capital f and capital g and it is followed by the number indicating minimum tensile strength that is in newton per mm square okay so in steel it is f e here it is f g so something which is having combination of f g it is cast iron and which is having combination of f e or f e e it is steel okay so see we can go through the examples first f g 150 means f g means it may be a gray cast iron or white cast iron and the number of followed by 8 it is a minimum tensile strength so fg150 means it is a gray or white cast iron having minimum tensile strength of 150 newton per mm square okay second example fg200 means a gray or white cast iron having minimum tensile strength of 200 newton per mm square it is simple one if there is a fg it is a cast iron it may be a gray cast iron or white cast iron it is followed by some number that number will be a minimum tensile strength of that cast iron okay so this is gray cast iron and for white cast iron next for malleable cast iron as per indian standards these malleable cast irons are designated are like wm bm and pm what it is actually wm means white hulled malleable cast iron bm means black hulled malleable cast iron and PM means perlitic malleable cast iron means this malleable cast iron is again divided into three types that is white hard malleable cast iron, black hard malleable cast iron and perlitic malleable cast iron and they are designated as per their classifications or differentiations ok so see all these WM, BM, PM are followed by the number indicating same here again minimum tensile strength ok so for malleable cast iron we have three things WM, white hard BM, black hard, PM, perlitic. Okay, we can go through the examples. First, WM 300. What is my WM? It means white hard malleable cast iron and it is followed by a number that is 300. A number is always a minimum tensile strength. Okay, so it is WM 300 means it is a white hard malleable cast iron having minimum tensile strength of 300 Newton per mm square. Okay next bm 350 bm means black hard malleable cast iron 350 means it is a minimum tensile strength so it means black hard malleable cast iron having minimum tensile strength of 350 newton per mm square next we have 
another example pm 500 it means pm means perlating malleable cast and find it is a number which is followed by pm okay then 500 we will be a minimum tensile strength so it means perlating malleable cast and having minimum tensile strength of 500 newton per mm square okay so this is malleable cast and have three types wm bm pm as per that you go for the examples okay then next we have ductile cast iron or it is also called as a nodular cast iron or it is also called as a spheroidal cast iron okay so see as per indian standard this cast iron designated by alphabet sg here for steel it is fe for gray cast iron and white cast iron it is fg and here we have it is designated as sg that is spheroidal graphite or we can say spheroidal cast iron remember it okay fe for steel fg for white and gray cast iron and sg for spheroidal cast iron or nodular or ductile cast iron okay sg that is spheroidal graphite and which is followed by a number two numbers actually which is followed by a number indicating the minimum tensile strength which is in the numerator and a small number which is present at the denominator is percentage of elongation means here we have the two numbers one it is in numerator that is minimum tensile strength and second is a second in at a denominator it is a percentage of elongation okay so we have we have go through the examples first sg means spheroidal graphite you can say spheroidal cast iron 400 divided by 15 as we know the upper number or the numerator will be the minimum tensile strength and the below number or denominator is called percentage of elongation okay so sg 400 by 15 it means spheroidal cast iron with 400 newton per mm square as minimum tensile strength and 15 percent of elongation okay so next sg 350 by 12 sg means again spheroidal graphite or spheroidal cast iron 350 will be the will be the minimum tensile strength 12 will be the percentage of elongation so it means spheroidal cast iron with 350 newton per mm square as a minimum tensile strength and 12 percent of elongation okay easy one so so simple it is just here we have the two numbers first number at upper side it will be the minimum tensile strength in newton per mm square and the second number which is below we will be the percentage of elongation okay next we will go that is the last point that is AISI or SAE designation of steel as we are designated our steel and cast iron with Indian standards so we will see what is actually the AISI and SAE standards for designation of steel see AISI means American Iron and Steel Institute and SAE means Society of Automotive Engineers in London okay remember this this will be asked in the exam okay so these two AISI and SAE have almost similar method of designation both of these okay see in this they have four to five digits there is no alphabet as we as our standards we have some alphabet that is FE some elements like C, CR, MO all these things okay so AISI and SAE doesn't have the alphabets in their standards or in their designation they just have the numbers okay but they have the some designations to their numbers okay so see in this four to five digits are used for designation see first digit from left indicate they are given what to know for one for two for three up to nine if we have first number from this nine that is from one to nine that whole number will be indicated as that type of steel if we are started with the one it is carbon steel start with the two it is nickel steel for three nickel chromium steel that is nicr steel for four it is molybdenum steel for five it is chromium steel six chromium vanadium steel seven tungsten steel eight nicr molybdenum steel and nine si steel that is silicon steel okay so see so these one two nine are the first digit given to you so you can get it what is a type of steel by the first number itself okay see second digit indicate percentage of element of a type of steel means 
we can go to the example let all see and the last two digit number indicates 100 times the average percentage of carbon contained so see first number is what indicating type of steel second number is percentage of element of the type of steel and third and fourth number combinedly indicating 100 times the average percentage of carbon content okay so we will go through the example see by example that is 5342 it means 5 means it is a chromium steel okay you are getting or not first number is always a type of steel so 5 which is indicating a chromium steel then 3 that is the second digit what we had studied second digit is a percentage of element of type of steel means we have 3% of chromium second digit is always taken as it is as a percentage of type of steel so 5 is a chromium steel 3 is a second number which is a percentage of chromium because it is a chromium type of steel so 3 is a 3% 3 of chromium and last two digits that is 4 2 it is the 100 times than actual percentage of carbon so 42 divided by 100 we get 0.42 percent of carbon now getting this started with the 5 means it is chromium steel 3 it is taken as it is for which type of steel it is chromium steel so 3 percent of chromium and last two digits that is 42 will be 100 times the actual percentage of carbon so 42 divided by 100 we get 0.42 percent carbon okay we will go through the more examples see here first example 1040 1 means it is a carbon steel and here there is no second number i will tell why it is actually okay see and last two digits are the the 100 times the actual percentage of carbon so 40 divided by 100 we get 0 0.4 percent carbon okay see second number is zero because it is a carbon steel and the percentage of carbon is actually showed in the last two digits so there is no matter to show again it in the second number so it is a zero okay second two four four zero two means it is a nickel steel the second number four or the second digit four it will be taken as it is and it is percentage of nickel so 2 means nickel steel second number 4 that is 4 percent of nickel and last two digits that is 4 0 it is percentage of carbon so 40 by 100 we get 0 0.4 percent of carbon next we have example 9260 as it is start with the 9 9 indicates the silicon steel okay second digit that is 2 it is the actual percentage of silicon because it is a type of silicon steel or it is a silicon type of steel okay so to indicate two percent of silicon and six zero is nothing but the hundred times than the actual percentage of carbon so 60 divided by 100 we get 0 0.6 percent of carbon so this is what the aisi or sa designation there is, there are only numbers as uh, as per our as per in our indian standards we have alphabets and in aisi or se they have the numbers okay so this is what the designations as per the AIS and SE standards and we have studied in this lecture about the designation of cast iron for gray cast iron for and for white cast iron we have fg followed by some number that is minimum tensile strength then in malleable cast iron we have three types wm bm and pm for white hard malleable cast iron black hard malleable cast iron and perlitic malleable cast iron followed by a number which is again minimum tensile strength and in ductile or nodular or in spheroidal cast iron we are designate it by the alphabet that is SG which is followed by the two numbers that is on upper side 1 below side 1 upper side is a minimum tensile strength below side we have percentage of elongation so this is what the designation of cast iron is so go through it very well okay so thank you everyone